Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Midpomosi here today with NCP Season 5? Yeah, Season 5 Week 10 Battle against Just Courage, coach of the Walt Disneylanders. Before we get any further, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell in the top right corner if you want a notification whenever I upload. Me and Kurt are both... I'm confirmed for playoffs. He is confirmed out of playoffs. So, he actually wanted to play a real battle. I really didn't care. He just didn't want to say he lost to the mid Pokemaster. So, I brought realish, a kind of real team. And he tryharded. Like, I brought real sets, but I didn't, like, try super hard in prep. So, he brings Scizor, Raikou, Lando T, Tentacruel, Scrafty, and Celebi. So, Calm Mind Raikou can look scary if he's, like, sub, Calm Mind, Thunderbolt, Scald. But I do have DD, Necrozma, and Zygarde. But, like, if he Scald burns those, it's kind of problemsome. Persian's actually not a super bad lead. As that's like only terrifying against Scizor, which I have a Torcat and Rotom Heat for. No Blacephalon, which I really like. No Gyarados, which I like. So, I told him good luck, have fun. I don't know if he replied. He said have fun, so I hope I hack some out. But I just want everybody to know the lesson that I've learned this week. All girls are the same. Just... I feel like you need to know that. So I led Alolan Persian as he la led Lando. I low-key almost led Torakat. So that would have not been good. I'm just going to taunt him so he can't set up rocks. He can be like Scarf U-turn if he wants. I could have also clicked knocked as nothing really wants to lose their item. But just taunting it to where he can't set a Brox is pretty nice. But Torgat's really only good here as a scissor switch in. It was here to kind of check. What's it called? Blacephalon. It could switch in. He did click Stealth Rock. So now, I click knockoff and something loses their item. And nothing really wants to lose their item as Scrafty likes items. It likes its leftovers or assault vest. So it took 15% and it was soft sand. He's going to click EQ. 172 to 115. So he did 57, which shows me, you know, he's not, like, max attack. I'm going to parting shot out. But out into what? Probably Rotom. As Stone Edge is not going to do that much to me. And if he just, like, U-turns out, that's more than fine. He does just click U-turn. That is 13. So let me just give it a Stone Edge on this calc so I can, you know, calc U-turn. Like, how much attack he had to be. So he could have a minimum... Of 208 investment. So him setting this out leads me to think he's faster than me. Or expects to be faster. And he's just going to click a water move. But realistically I don't have a switch into that. So Red Bombi is also super useless this game. Actually he does have Scrafty plus. What's it called? I'm going to go into Necrozma. It's not the best this game. It's just kind of here to be annoying. It's like if he clicks Scald and gets a burn, that'd be very unfortunate. That's like offensive. And he does get the burn. 175 to 126. So I did 49, which shows he's no investment. I'm going to click DD. 
so that is annoying, but I feel like I didn't have a better play. So he's going to go into Scrafty. Now I'm going to show this off and he's going to be like, what? But he did not show Intimidate. Which is kind of poggers. But depending on his investment, he could kill me with knockoff. So I'm going to Brick Break him. Or did I just miss Intimidate and I'm dumb? We'll see. I do have everybody Bombi for this mod, so it's not like it's a big deal. I did like 30. He clicks Roar. And he brings me right onto the Red Bombi. And he's leftovers. So I'm just going to U-turn out as he probably brings in Tentacle. Ursula. So I'm going to get this amazing chip damage off with U-turn that actually did like 10%. That's, in, that's like actual insanity. So I'm going to go into Persian. And I'm just going to click knock. Just because it's very nice to, you know, get rid of another item. He's going to show Black Sludge. I'm just going to knock. So I'm just going to click knock. You know, this thing losing his black sludge is very nice. Scizor losing an item is nice. Raikou getting chip damage on the Lando so I can just click foul play is nice. And Scrafty losing its leftovers is also very poggers. So he's going to hard switch into Mufasa. That is the Lando. And he already did lose his item. Obviously, that's going to do very little. I kind of wanted a departing shot, but I, you know, I just felt like that was a no drawback play. I think he's going to U-turn here, in all honesty, so I'm going to click foul play. I don't think he's going to try to set up rocks. Or he just clicks rocks. Not like I'm actually super weak to them, like they're annoying for Toracat, but I can still defog them away pretty easy. And not much wants to take this foul play. But now that mod's very weak. So something's going to take this chip damage and they're not going to appreciate it. Like even Scizor is not going to appreciate it. So he's going to go into Sid. This is the Scrafty. So that's bringing it down from 75 to 60, or 70. So that turn really just didn't happen. So the problem is he actually brought Celebi. Which I didn't expect. So my Zygarde actually can't touch it. I thought he'd bring Aromatis over it. So I wish I brought Skitter Smack over like the... What's it called? The Iron Tail. But I'm going to go out into the big threat that is Toracat. And what does he click? Does he click Roar? Does he click Knock? Clicks Knock. So 
So he's going to heal up to 80. This is pretty free tentacle for him. I don't think he wants to stay in. I'm going to go into Zygarde. Does he stay in? He's gonna hard withdraw. I'm going to Ursula, that's fine. I wanna click how much does Iron Tail do to Celebi? Actually doesn't do that much. But you know what? I'm just gonna go for the dragon dance. He knows I can have Skitter Smack. And he actually doesn't do too much to me. So I'm going to get this DD up. Mufasa. That's the Lando. That's fine. He is going to intimidate me. And now I'm going to set up a coil. So I can chew these hits. And we've shown us that he's not max attack. Clicks knock. So I'm kind of just going to coil up again, or should I thousand arrows? I think I'm just going to go for the damage and kill him. So I no longer have my weakness policy, which is actually very annoying. Because if he had D-Gleam on Celebi to kill me, I could have, you know, just gone... I would have got my weakness policy and kind of just won. So Zygarde kills Lando. And he does have Scrafty in the back, which can wear me out. Which he's going to go into, but it's not like he's going to appreciate this hit. Getting this damage off is very nice. So I brought him down to like 40. He's going to roar us out. What do we get put into? Persian. That's actually like worst case scenario. He could click Drain Punch, he could click Rest. There's no way he's going to click Rest here, because he's still pretty healthy. So I'm going to Parting Shot out into the Rabombi. So I'm going to go... I can actually just kind of sack off Tora Cat. That month's pretty useless. He's gonna click Drink Punch. Actually, doesn't kill me. So he's gonna get to go around to 60. So, do I click the Willow, or do I click Crunch, predicting Tentacle to come in? I guess even if Tentacle comes in, getting just negating that Black Sludge is very nice. If I can get it off. So, he's now burned. So, he's going to go down to 94. I'm forced to stay in. I'm just going to click crunch. In case if, like, he overpredicts for any sort of reason. So he's just going to click scald. Tentacruel kills Torakat.
So he's at like 60% with his... What's it called? He's at like 60% with his Scrafty. So I'm just gonna come in and click Thousand Arrows. Just, or he's just gonna let me kill this. I will take that. Zygarde kills Tentacruel. So now he's gonna go into Scrafty, and I'm gonna go out into my Rybombi. Cause I can take any hit from that Mon. If he knocks off my boots, that's more than fine. I'm just gonna U-turn out. He's gonna click Ice Punch. And I cannot get frozen because of Shield Dust, which is very nice. So he did 143 to 95, that did 48. So I'm going to U-turn out. I don't think he's going to want to risk this as this is his only Zygarde check at this I mean, he does have Celebi. So he's going to go into Simba. So I obviously I just U-turned out there. That actually did quite a bit. That did like 20%. I'm going to go out into Zygarde. Set up a Dragon Dance. Or I could just Thousand Arrows to get Force Chip Damage. I'm going to click Thousand Arrows. Or I could we can click Scald, but that's about it. So, he's only really switching to Scrafty, because he doesn't know my last move. He could think I'm Skitter Smack. But, like, obviously I wasn't too scared of Celebi in prep. He shouldn't click Toxic. If he's not Shookaberry, this should kill. So this should just kill. So Zygarde kills Lando, T, Tentacle, and Raikou. So this mod is showing its worth again. Just for being, just showing how good it is. Killing three big threats. Sid. At this point, I don't really need my Zygarde. It's not the most useful mod, as all the last mods can kind of just defensively check it. So I'm just going to click Thousand Arrows. You're at like... 67. So you're going to go from... 67 to like 25. What is he? That was a crit. That honestly does suck a lot. That sucks a lot for my boy Kurt. I'm not going to lie. That did 67 to like 25. So that did 42% with a crit. So now we should. We had to get a high roll to kill him. Or hope he's not max defensive. But even just this chip damage off is very nice for Rotom, for Necrozma, for everything. So we do kill him, but obviously it's only because of that crit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, we only got it because of that crit.
So he still has Celebi Scizor. So this is Celebi, and this is where we're going to show we have Iron Tail as our last move. And he's going to be like, what? Or is that John Jr.? But he actually just kind of outsped us and killed us. Celebi. Kill. He's. What? He's what? Celebi kills Zygarde. What? That did not just happen. Our Bombi does not kill with U-turn, but I can U-turn and then go out into. If he stays in, I can just go out into Persian. And if he goes out into Scizor, I can click Overheat. So I should be fine here to win this game. Because, yeah, if he stays in here, I stack off Persian. And I can click Foul Play. I think at least. Because even if he's no attack investment, he's in range. And that'll hit Scizor on the switch in. I'm going to take Rock's damage. He clicks Psychic, that's fine. So I'm going to click Foul Play. And I'm going to kill this Mon. So, Persian Alola kills Celebi. So now he's going to go Scizor. And I just taunt that. I just don't want any shenanigans here. I'm going to taunt. So he's going to click Bullet Punch. 153 to 90. So he did 63. Okay, so he's choice banned. I'm going to pardon shut out into Ronum and click overheat. Wish Torcat was still alive and I would totally bring that in and kill this Scizor, if I'm being honest. I would do that for Torcat to get a kill. But I'm just going to go into Ronum and click Overheat. I know that extra diff saving there is annoying for Kurt, but I... Obviously, if diff matters, you know, for my playoff spot, I just want to go for it. If I can get a higher seed, I'm going to take it. Just like so Liv can't pass me if she like destroys Matt. So Rotom Heat kill Scizor. Is that a 4 0 or 3 0? 4 0 win against Kurt. So Rotom Heat kill Scizor. So that is the end of the regular season for the NCP. Next week we're immediately going into playoffs. So please wish us good luck. Make sure to go check out Kurt's side. You know, he's an amazing battler. Had a little bit of a rough season. But he did amazing last season of NCP and made finals and lost to Owen and then won BBL at the same time. So he's an amazing battler. Please go check him out. He's a great dude. Somebody I hang out and call with all the time. So I cannot say enough good things about him. So thank you all for supporting us this season. Next week you will see our round one matchup for quarterfinals. I don't know who we play yet as playoffs are still very undecided as games still need to be played for the week. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Peace.